Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Source is going on in our tarot reading for today. Um, I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, I wanted to do a little something different today. Kind of spice things up a little. <laughs> In my realm of doing things. We're going to start off with an angel number today. It is for the number of protection, security. Okay. It says, you're, it says you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and per perseverance make a dip. Laura can read today. I don't know what in the world is going on. Let's try this again. This is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and start over. Okay. Four, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I am stable. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. What in the world is going on? Oh my gosh, I can see the light reflection for this crystal down here. That is beautiful. It's like a diamond ship right there. Oh, look at that. All right, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Swords is going on in our tarot reading for the day. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed and favored because you really, really are. Don't let anyone make you feel any different about that. Okay, we have a Queen of Cups out here that may be planning something with a Queen of Wands or something for a Queen of Wands. You could also have someone that's going through some type of ending. Or this woman is planning to bring some type of problem to a Queen of Wands because they are receiving some type of opportunity. They're going to be working with someone that this Queen of Cups wants to work with. So this could be a Queen of Cups that is in the reverse. Did you all just see that? Oh, Listen, it was a whole spin. Spirits out here being extra. <laughs> Spirits that you need a little flavor. Let's spin it around so we can have you guessing and stuff. Anyways, this Queen of Cups is either planning something for you. Um, she may be planning an ending because she is absolutely determined to receive some type of opportunity she does not want you to have. The only problem is that this is your birthright. This is something the divine has deemed uh worthy or you worthy of so you will be receiving it this will be one of these situations where someone is just so stubborn idiotic like just careless someone is very i don't know even what the word is to describe this woman okay someone is just very stern on proving that she's a better option than someone else there could be a situation where there's even a masculine in here that has a different way of thinking and i've been picking up on this in a lot of my reading possibly a king of cups that's just in the wrong environment with a group of people these are people that don't really care about operating from their emotional uh, space their heart space these people are just financially focused very dark when it comes to how they live very financially focused easily tempted these people are tempted by everything that sparkles so they don't care about emotions you could have this masculine here that has a lot of creative ideas right very bright very imaginative his like someone is still in touch with their inner child but people have been around them for a long time trying to block that from coming out but they need it though because this is the only person in the group with the ideas and now he comes across you and he said oh i think i found someone i resonate with she's just like me and then this queen of cups finds out that this masculine is interested in working with you and she becomes a nightmare well not initially initially she starts gradually 
picking taking on your personality she's stalking you watching you copying everything you do uh, so this masculine can stay around and maybe even choose her and things like that because this woman sees that you are everything in one. You are an empress. You may even be a high priestess. She knows that you are a queen of cups, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, queen of swords. So you are covered in every avenue. Very wise, straightforward, down to earth. And then you have the audacity to be loving as well. She's not. Someone just know how to... Take on that Queen of Cups energy to get what it is she wants, whether it's a man, an opportunity, money. She don't care. If it works, that's what she does, okay? We're not here to judge her. That's her business. Some people are comfortable being low vibrational, being manipulative because they, they don't really have anything else to bring to the table. Um, because I'm telling you, they don't have anything to bring to the table but toxic city. That's all they can do. So that's all she knows. So she may be planning to bring you some type of ending. Maybe she wants you out of here because she wants to be the one that receives this opportunity one way or another. It's not going to go in her favor. Like I said, this is something that is absolutely destined for you. And this is absolutely one of those situations where someone thinks she's practiced long enough being you. Listen, you see this card came out. I'm telling you, this woman is crazy. This woman is crazy. She is crazy. Someone is very toxic. Very, I don't, like, her energy is just like, oh, it's uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Someone is very manipulative and dark. Okay, very manipulative and dark. And she's been working with someone behind the scenes. It's like, Something I just heard is that she is planning to either bring some type of ending to an emperor, have an emperor trapped in something, or this is what she already did. And she's like, if you won't pick me, then you're not picking anyone. Like, you're out of here. Someone is very desperate behind the scenes. And I'm telling you, she's manipulative. She causes a lot of confusion. Maybe play mental games with this emperor's mind as well. There could be multiple emperors in here. But you might want to be careful, collective, who you partner up with because there are people in here that have some type of motives to bring you the wrong offer so that you can choose the wrong thing. You are supposed to be having some type of brand new beginning in work, like arriving somewhere, your destination. I'm telling you, you're supposed to be arriving somewhere, living in, uh, like in affluence, being very influential, right? People don't want you to be seen, but this is exactly what's about to be happening. You're about to be seen. And I don't mean like you're hitting right now. It's like they were waiting for you. They were trying, to, hmm, excuse me. They were doing things to hide you, but you're not hitting, okay? You're out and about, like you're out here. People can see you. So is that everything they, they were doing to cause confusions and things like that? It didn't work. Someone is trapped in an institution. Dang. The hanging man came out in the reverse. The hanging man came out in the reverse. An emperor partner up with, a, I don't know, a wealthy woman? Someone. He partnered up with the wrong person and now he's trapped with these people, cannot move on. He may have done something for finances. He may have been led, like guided initially not to do something, but he did it anyways. Um, while this Queen of Cups is competing with another woman, this emperor may be <laughs> fighting for his security. This is what's about to be going on. Someone trapped themselves for money, basically. And this is coming sideways. Someone may have needed to go and seek advice, but maybe they didn't seek advice or they received advice from the wrong energy. Listen, when these cards come out sideways, it always throws me off. It makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable and uneasy. It's like, what the heck is going on? There is something here where someone did not take heed I'm being told to put this in the reverse. I don't know why I'm putting it in the upright. I'm going to listen to spirit because this is going to come out. Okay. Someone was, someone received some type of wisdom in the past to not participate in something, but they did anyways. And now because he worked with this queen of pentacles, he trapped himself in something that he cannot get out. He was, just, get out of, he was expecting to receive some type of abundance. Like they made some type of ridiculous promise to him and he fell for it. Someone like, I don't know if they're like an emperor that's just crazy, but he's gullible. They made him some type of, promise that uh, yeah they made him some type of promise 
that just seem really let's see i don't want to keep repeating the same word but they made some type of deal with him that seemed really promising and he was like yeah 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 i'll sign and he signed he signed the dotted line not knowing this woman was a devilish energy now she trapped him the abundance that he was looking for he may have been dating even this high this uh woman of high honor he may have been dating her, but it looks like the both of them are trapped in something they can't get out of. I don't think this man is married. He could be dating someone that he keeps up. She doesn't work. Uh, he just takes care of her or something like that. I don't know what this is, honey. I don't know what this is. This man could be sick as well and, and is having a hard time recovering. But someone does not operate from their higher vibrational energy. Listen, I was trying to... <laughs> Spirits get funny today. Oh my gosh. Like I was trying to go and put it up in the upright and then it like fell and flipped over. So there's clarity. Something was meant to be hidden. This queen of pentacles here, there's something that was supposed to be hidden by her. She didn't think that you knew something she was doing or she thought people didn't know what she was doing. This is someone that's been into black magic for a long time. She manipulates a lot quite a lot this will be the some the person with a lot of minions out in the fields she can tell them go do this and they do it not because she's paying them at this point but because she has control over them she has control over them she's very karmic very toxic she knows how to use her position to get people to do what she wants them to do she's out here manipulating emperors god dang it if you can manipulate an emperor, do you really think you'll have any type of difficulties manipulating anyone else? No. Everyone else is a piece of cake. Why? Emperors are supposed to be very stern, stoic, straightforward, have boundaries. Apparently, this one doesn't have boundaries. <clears throat> and he's learning a lesson the hard way. Yeah. Okay. There's clarity in a situation. We have the two of swords out here in the reverse and the freaking sun. Absolutely, there's nothing hitting anymore. There's clarity. Nothing can be hitting anymore. What these people do behind closed doors is out in the is out in the light. What was hidden in the dark is now in the light. It said, come on, come on into the light, folks. We know you're in the dark. We know what you're doing back there. We know you sacrificed an animal last week, two weeks ago. We know you offer your behind up to someone for money. We know you've been doing this saffening light workers energies for a long time. We know you need our energies to feed, but you can't feed off of us anymore. We're taking our energies and power back. Okay? But come on out. Come on out. Come out of that closet. We know you're in there. Come on. The closet is not even big enough for all of you. You're suffocating in there. Claustrophobic in there and everything. And you're just trying to make it work. Come on out, folks. Come on out. I'm telling you, come on out. <laughs> come on out. This has been a secret for decades. This has been a secret for decades. These people have been doing this for decades. And they're like, who is this hooligan calling herself, his self, a star seed, exposing us? They say, hey, they start see they're doing what the most high ordained them to do. That is expose these kind of institutions, these kind of characters and energies. Okay? And they have protection while they're doing it. So you better not fool around. Or you're going to have to go either six feet under or sit down permanently. Okay? Yeah. But these people are exposed. There's a couple in here. They, uh, these people keep popping up in my readings and I'm just so sick of them. <laughs> just so sick of them. But they're exposed. These are people that do stuff in the dark. Right? They deceive people. They come in, give you an offer, make it look all glorious and promising, but behind the scenes there's all other stuff. Like They don't even give you the chance to read the fine print. You know how we tell people before you sign a contract, read the fine print? Excuse me. <coughs> These suckers here, they don't give you the chance to read the fine print. Because they don't want you asking questions. Because if you start asking questions, then they have to come out and be straightforward with you. And the devil don't like that. You know the devil is deceiving. There's always something hidden. Some type of something hidden in that contract that you don't catch on to. And it's there to benefit the devil. You know like those 360... Uh, um, 
deals that rappers and other artists make the le the label the record labels come to them and they have them sign those 360 deals not realizing they're signing all of their rights away every time the record label takes you out to dinner and you're paying yeah every event you throw you're paying they're not telling you that you're paying but you're paying that's how it is and they don't let you read the fine print they come in and they make the deal sound real good they say hey buddy we have four million dollars for you we want to work with you we love your music we love this whole image of yours okay we want to offer you four million dollars and you've never seen four million dollars before in your life you said four million dollars oh i come from a little old town in tennessee and you telling me you want to give me four million dollars baby bobby don't sound his name quick on that line bobby forgot to ask questions bobby thought he was about to be free bobby is meant to be free he's meant to be independent mm -hmm. bobby is meant to be independent bobby don't see four million dollars on the paper and the check and he lost his mind bobby and the and the most high and his manager that's been with him his whole life they had a plan Bobby, we're going to do this gradually. These are the steps we're going to take to get make sure you get to success. And I'm just using music as an example, but this can be any situation, folks. Bobby, we have put out the steps. This is how we're going to get to where we need to be. Bobby said, yes, sir. And then that record label come and shows Bobby a check for $4 million. Everything else went out the door. Bobby said, sign me up. Mm, 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 mm. Now, this is Bobby. <laughs> My ancestors, <laughs> my ancestors are just as goofy as me. Like, why would you all let the deck split on that, of all things? Why would you all let the deck split on this? Bobby don't went from being the fool, hopeful, optimistic, to living in fear. He said, oh, shoot, I got to protect myself. Because now everything... They said they loved about Bobby before he signed that dotted line. It's, it's going out the door. Bobby, we know your hair is black and it looks good on you, but we think you should try purple. Bobby, I know that you and Jimmy have been friends for a long time, but Jimmy is a big deal in the music industry. We need you to take shots at Jimmy. Bobby, we know you like uh, girls, but you know to be successful in the music industry, you got to give up a little sum sum to this man here. Bobby said, wait, hold on now. Uh, can I see that contract again? Oh. <laughs> Bobby needs to go pray. Now he's seeing what the contract says. And he don't like it. But guess what? Bobby is stuck in this contract and can't get out of it. He needs to produce, what, six albums? And the record label gets to decide what, which albums are worth putting out there, okay? Bob, Bobby is out here producing albums like a hamster on a hamster wheel. <laughs> Six albums, oh yes, Bobby, we only like one. They know all the other albums are fire, but because they want Bobby stuck in that contract, the longer he's in that contract, the more money they make out of him. Oh, they're going to keep rejecting contracts. I mean, albums and rejecting albums and rejecting albums. By the time Bobby is done, Bobby is worn out. He may need some type of surgery or something like that. Bobby don't... Oh, listen, this is Bobby now. <laughs> they don't hire a whole new manager for Bobby. They don't even know Bobby. They don't give a crap about Bobby. He just won his 30%. Mm. Bobby's old manager that he grew up with now has to downsize his life, move into a two-bedroom apartment instead of the mansion he used to live in because he was helping Bobby genuinely with his career. Baby, it's a situation like this. Okay? Be careful who and what you make deals with. These people have been stuck in this toxicity for a long time and everything is being exposed and they're having a hard time dealing with it. Someone may want to come in and give you some type of false friendship just to shut you up. You're not meant to be shut up. 
They're coming in to do this to you. That friendship they're offering you is supposed to lead to this. Okay? Have you out. Cold. Disposed of you. Okay? Someone's sister could be involved in something. Be mindful. I'm not trying to have you afraid of your sisters or your family members. But just be vigilant. Be vigilant. I'm telling you, be vigilant. You know something is up. They know the gig is up because you know a little bit too much. You know they're trapped in that institution. The institution could be abundant, but it penny pinches. Like, it, 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 what is it? Mm, what is it? You know how someone, let's say <laughs> you're working for a company and they know they can take better care of their employees. You, it, it, they could, they could possibly give you a five hundred dollar bonus to just make sure that you know you're happy and content. Instead of giving you a five hundred dollar bonus, what they give you a twenty five dollars bonus and they say, "Oh, honey, we're so grateful for all you do for the company. You've been here a long time. Uh, we hope you get to stay, you know, another ten years." Blah 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 blah. What happened to the other four hundred and seventy five dollars? They pocketed it. They pocketed it. Now there are, you know, brag crumbing you, brag crumbing you, and every year to do the same thing. And you're there talking about, oh, our company shows us appreciation. They give us twenty five dollars, a twenty five dollar bonus. Little do you know, you should be getting five hundred dollars because these people could give you five hundred dollars and still be in the clear for another fifty years. There's a whole company of employees that are in that situation. They've been being breadcrumbed for decades, and they are so loyal to this company. Oh, my gosh. They are so loyal. They're all a uh, family. They're not family. <laughs> One big happy family that was before you came along collective and you exposed the truth. Now, it went from being loving to ha. And we went out. Say, get me out of here. I don't want to be part of this anymore. These people were planning to trap you in something. And they can't trap you. That's not what you're meant for. You're not meant to be in toxic institutions. Be around toxic energies. You're not meant to. You're moving forward. You're about to be having friends in high places and things like that. Right. And I, like I said, someone is coming in. To give you some type of false offer. It's supposed to be like a promotion. And you're supposed to be celebrating. Right? To keep you stuck. <laughs> the truth is being exposed. To keep you stuck. Right? Wherever you are really meant to be. The universe is going to connect you with that place. When you get there, you will be secure. Protected. Right? These hooligans won't be able to come in and... Cloud people judgment about you, your worth and things like that. That's the thing about connecting with your actual soul tribe. They don't question your worth. They don't question your morality. They don't have to question nothing because they know you on a spiritual level. And when someone comes in and try to do you something, honey, they'll check that person before you even find out about it. You may not even find out about what happened. They'll leave you out. Like, they'll leave you out of it. Like, she don't need to know about that. He doesn't know need to know about that. I'm telling you, genuine connections. Genuine healing connections. They won't even put you in the know about it. They're not going to tell you. They checked a mother sucker at the door when he showed up trying to speak ill of you. Trying to get them to work against you. They probably just looked at him like, if you come over here again, we are going to call the authorities and have you escorted off the, pre off the premises. Mm-hmm. In that order. Man down. Ram, pam, pam, pam. Ram, pam, pam, pam. Man down. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're secure. You're about to be secure. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a, there's a family fighting amongst themselves. These people have been fighting amongst themselves for quite a while now. Quite a while. Because of an empress energy, that would be you collective. You didn't do anything to these people. They're upset that you get to move on with your life. 
Mm -hmm. Right. You're standing your ground. You're protected. You're having wish fulfillment. You're content in life. They wanted you being bothered, but they're the ones who are bothered. You've defeated these people, not through your own power or by your own might, but by the favor of the Most High. That hand right there from the sky, giving you the sword to slice your enemies into places that I wish you would sit down permanently. You can sit down or you can lay down, whatever works for you. But I wish you would because I'm the one with the sword now. You want to test me? Oh, no? Okay. I beg. Sit down. Okay? They cannot defeat you. Okay? Honey, they, this is about a connection. This has been coming out a lot in my readings. People trying to block connections and things like that. There's a masculine that's been around a group of people that don't resonate on his frequency. This is why you're having a hard time getting away from these people. You've been around them for a long time. These are families and friends. Just as toxic as can be. Toxic. And there's an emperor that's now stuck with them because someone got greedy. Yeah, you got greedy. You got greedy. Mmm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't know who thought they were in the clear to go do something. You, you're not. You're not. You're not in the clear to do nada. Okay. Whatever you're planning to do, honey, I will advise you not to. Queen of Cups. Yeah, the moment you do that is a doner. You're done. You are done. Someone is very hostile. To be a queen of cups. But that's because she's not a real queen of cups. This is someone that's just. This is like the jealous person. Emotionally imbalanced. Mentally imbalanced. Not creative. Does not have any type of creativity juice. Running through her mind, body or nothing. Source has disconnected. Source has said. Ah, I've tried for so long child. You just don't get it. You just don't get it. We'll keep recording what you're doing. But that's about it. Someone lost their protection. Okay. Someone lost their protection. Someone thought she was brave, but apparently she's not as brave as you. And whatever action she took led to some type of ending for her. It led to some type of ending. And whoever thought they was going to come in, you know, in the, hey, I have a little bread coming for you. <laughs> so I said, you better not. You better not. I don't have, I'm telling you, you better not. You better sit down. You have better sit down. Someone here is embarrassed because you know the truth about them. This is a whole emperor that's embarrassed. Someone doesn't even want you seeing their face because they thought they were the master of disguise and they were going to keep, you know, fooling you. I don't even think this person was ever able to fool you. It's, you probably just sat back and watched someone make a fool out of themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm getting. You watch someone make a fool out of themselves. Now the plan is to send this same person into your energy to bring an end. They said, I want to have closure with you. I want to mend things with you. I don't like how things ended. I don't like how things are going. You got to ask these kind of people, why are things going the way they are? You care to elaborate? Oh, oh, crickets? Oh, okay. Okay. You mean you weren't trying to do this to her, to him? Oh, no? Okay. Okay. You don't want to talk about that? No. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that collective. You'll be exposing them. You'll be exposing them even though they're already exposed. Okay. Mm. You have a whole queen of swords in here that don't know how to mind her damn mother effing business. Out here throwing a fit because what? This man here, this king of cups here, is content with his decision that he's made to move on away from this crazy, this, this group here. He wants to make a solid offer somewhere else. She thought she had manipulated this person enough. She
she had manipulated this person enough. He's like, I don't told you this woman is reckless. This is not an empress. This is someone loose. This is someone not, uh, uh, uh. I don't know what the word is. She's not careful with her mouth, body, or anything. She's incompetent. She's retarded. She's this. She's that. And he said, okay, yeah, I'll go find out for myself. And that's the thing that's pissing her off. What do you mean you're going to go find out for yourself? You don't trust me? Uh, no, I don't trust you. But he's not going to say it that way. He's just going to say, well, I'll go see. I'll, I'll try and see what happens. He wants to be polite. The time for being polite is over, sir. You don't even know you've been in danger. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, you've been in danger. Danger. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh huh. And why wow, that queen of that queen of cups, Miss? Grab your bitch forks. Grab your swords. Is going through whatever she's going through. You're gonna be receiving some type of message. I don't know if this woman got pregnant or something to cause some type of illusion. She had a child to cause illusion to keep someone trapped with her. It's not working. This man is probably probably like, you know what? I'm just going to take care of my child, but I'm still moving on. Or he may be heartbroken that a child is not his. There's something like that going on with someone in here. They find out that a child, child was not his. Mm -hmm. He may be thinking about how he betrayed someone as well. Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he betrayed someone. And he's losing a lot too. All these people are being humble. This life, life is an interesting thing. It's like a story playing out. And we're all involved in different chapters of the story but on a grand level the whole book when you bring it together we're all connected in some way this is a whole chapter of a book and i guarantee you when you watch another terror reader they're probably picking up on this and but they're in they're seeing the chapter from a different perspective maybe i missed something someone else misses something they pick up on it this is how it's going, and we all have our own way of telling the story. That's what makes it juicy. <laughs> That's what makes it juicy uh, of our personalities being put into these stories. Okay? Someone also sent some type of message to cause illusions. But you know what, honey? <laughs> What's in the dark always comes out. So I wouldn't hurt my head. Just focus on your past. Focus on your path. I'm telling you, focus on your path. Focus on your path. Someone, I don't know if he keeps sending a message to someone, you're not receiving a message or not responding, and he doesn't know why you keep not responding. I don't think you're receiving the message. I don't think you are. <laughs> I don't think you are. So someone may take action to go out into the world. There's like a king of cups in here as well that's causing illusions to a friend. And someone knows they can like just come towards you because you don't play that. You embarrass someone. I'm telling you, someone is ashamed because you know the truth about them. They cause a lot of illusions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You put an end to all of these illusions, okay? Every plan he had to come into your space, your energy to cause more, more illusions, you're looking at him like, uh, you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know what you've been up to. Now, why would you want to do it again? Are you like a broken record on repeat? This ain't no Taylor Swift gang. Are, are you crazy? He's embarrassed. He's embarrassed because you know the truth. He, you know the truth about him. He can't mask himself anymore. This man cannot mask himself anymore. I'm telling you, you know that someone is not smart. They're not business savvy. Nothing. 
What is this? And I'm telling you. They're not business savvy. Someone thought something was a joke before. It's not a joke anymore. They're not laughing right here. They're not laughing anymore. It got serious. When it hit them in their bank account and their stability, their foundation. Oh, someone teeth. All 32 teeth disappear real quick. The hyena is not hyena no more. <laughs> They're not doing that anymore. Those choppers went in. Brows frown up. Sweat dripping down the forehead, the side of the head, the temple. Oh, honey, it got serious. Serious. Like, what the heck? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I work with the wrong people. I, I've been causing a whole lot of illusion. I'm telling you. Worked with the wrong people. They were playing with your work. They were playing with your work and that's where they effed up. Someone made it your mission to temper with your work. They said, we don't want people to see you as skilled. We don't want you elevating. We don't want people to see you as someone with two senses in there. Your screws, we told people, are loose. And here you are proving us wrong. So we have to temper with your work. And the minute someone did that, a group of people are going through endings. Everything they took from you, they're losing as well. The thing about karmics, when you tell them this is going to happen, if it doesn't happen today or immediately tomorrow, they think they're in the clear. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not how it goes. <laughs> sometimes, just sometimes, it may happen immediately, but the universe will let that sucker sit there and marinate real, real good. It's that, mm, keep on going. And then they hit you in your pocket. You end up here, sorrows, sorrows. Now you're not laughing anymore. Someone doesn't take anything serious. They, just, they used to sit back behind the scenes and just laugh because they thought you didn't know who was doing what, but you knew the whole time. You trusted source to sort it out for you, your ancestors to sort it out. And sort it out, they did. Someone is not laughing anymore. It's not funny. <laughs> Someone has lost their sense of humor. They've lost their sense of humor. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now he doesn't want to work with his pals anymore. He said, I can't be part of this. Oh, now you don't want to be part of it? What had happened, sir? What had happened? You don't want to be part of it anymore. What happened? <laughs> What happened? Tell us. Oh, tell us. We'll listen to you. The collective will listen to you. Right, collective? No? Oh, collective. Come on. <laughs> We're better than that. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> collective, you are our savages. <laughs> you don't care. You don't care? Okay. Collective said, we don't care. We don't want to listen to them. We sick of them. We're sick of them. We are sick of them. <laughs> Ooh. These people have been working, destroying opportunity. This is what they were intending to do. They said, no, you can't have no new opportunities. We're going to keep you trapped so we can take you out. And the universe is there. As soon as you try to take them out, we're taking you out. And someone dared the universe. They said, uh, okay. And then they stepped in. This man is embarrassed that you know the truth about him. This is possibly someone's father. It has to be an emperor. Oh, yeah. That has to be someone's daddy. That has to be someone's daddy. And he knows you're someone that's genuine. You do things from the pureness of your heart. You offer genuine friendships to people. And he still took action to partner up with these people. Now the whole group is going through endings. Trying to block your beginnings and things like that. Ooh, baby. Mm. Gotta give these comments an A for effort. Hmm. 
yeah. Okay. What is this? Yeah. Okay. Someone, they did something they weren't supposed to do. They said, oh, my ancestors said we can do this. I was led to do this. No, you weren't led. You were not led to do that. You are not led to interfere with anyone's work or opportunities or anything like that. Okay? And whatever kind of facade you're trying to come towards someone with, they're protected from that. All of your opportunities that you were supposed to receive, they're all being taken away from you. None of them are promised to you anymore, I'm telling you. None of them are promised to you anymore. You had options and options before, but now, mm -mm. yeah, oh my God. You're seeing everybody for who they are. You got the whole king of pentacles out here in the reverse. You're, this a greedy man. This man did something for money. Money. Someone caused some type of uh, allusions to another masculine. They said, hey, we've been friends for this. That's not the person you want to partner up with. She's not a true empress. She just pretends to be an empress. And I don't know if that emperor listened, whatever. But whatever this king of pentacles did, honey, he lost protection. He lost favor. He's going through some type of financial woes. He's embarrassed. You know the truth. You know he's been watching you, stalking you. This is somebody's daddy stalking a younger energy. This is a whole page of swords. This is a freaking king of pentacles. Think about you being in like your 20s, your 30s, and someone in, your, in their 50s stalking you, stealing from you, taking from you, blocking you. You know how embarrassing that is? And the whole time you know what they're doing. And you don't say nothing because you're more mature than this person in their 50s or 60s. And every day they show up acting like they're genuine, they're your friend. This is someone that wears a mask, by the way. They wear a mask. Every day they're showing up to work or in your energy, however way they're coming. Acting like they're sincere, well put together, diplomatic. And you're just looking at them like, wow, people are wicked. People are wicked. Mm. Exposed. And your ancestors have been there the whole time protecting you. You knew what this man was doing, but you trusted another energy to protect you. Now that he's lost everything, or he's losing everything, you know, like balance is being burned into the situation. The ancestors have stepped away from him and said, we don't want none of that. We told you not to do that. We told you not to do that. Now you've set us back many lifetimes. We're going to have to work this karma off. Now I got to stay in the dark again. I don't want to be in this limbo realm. You know that realm where people go, they don't ascend or descend. They're just lingering. They're just lingering. Watching the humans go by about their lives and things like that. That's where someone's ancestors are. They were counting on him to free them this lifetime. And he decided mm, the money was too good. I can pretend to be her friend. I can pretend to give a damn about her. I can tell her I want to give her an offer. And never give her an offer. Now the ancestors, the angels are doing the same thing. Making you false promises. Oh, you know what? We're going to make sure. This is something. They'll make it look like he's going to get something. And they, oh, that didn't go through. <laughs> this is him. <laughs> it's like, oh, we changed our mind. As greedy as this person is, they have some type of intuition. And they know they are missing out on opportunities because of what they did to you. Someone knows. He knows why he's losing things, why his life is falling apart because of what he did to you. And he did it with a smile on his face. So you know what? Your angel is taking care of him with a smile on their face too. And so you see, we can smile too. 
I know we're all light and stuff, and you can't really see our smiles, but we'll do it in a way where you can see it. We can smile too. They're smiling. I'm telling you, balance. <laughs> now he wants to come in and work with you, honey, because balance has been brought in the situation. It's like as above, so below. You took from someone down here, so we're taking from you up there. Any blessings you're supposed to receive from working with this person, we're taking it away. You still have lessons to learn. Someone wants to come in now and pretend to be of higher character. Like the mask fell off, but he thinks if he just keeps going, you're going to eventually fall for it. He's going to have to move on. <laughs> move on. He said, if I just keep pretending to be upright, in the upright, that I want to work with her. Uh-huh. Yeah. And there's some, your collective, you're getting an offer somewhere else. Not with this king of pentacles in the reverse. Obviously, obviously. These are the kind of people that come in your energy and automatically you just know something is off. You don't say nothing. We never say anything, but we always just know. Uh, two and two is not adding up, sir. Uh, uh nope, 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 nope. Two and two are not adding up. Whatever you are supposed to be receiving collective, uh-huh, no one can take from you. You see that right there? No one can take it from you. This group here, nope. They cannot take it from you. It's, it is secure and protected. They pay something. Oh! I said they pay and then the page of pentacles fall out. They pay someone to take from you. Trying to manifest endings from you. For you. This is what a thieves try to do. And your ancestors are getting you out. Look at this. You're a freaking star. A healer? Golly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They pay someone to bring you a tower. And you still kept pushing forward. That she's not down yet. He's not down yet. W what's going on? We need this person down and out. Everything we said about them has to be solidified. We know we lied, but we still need this to be solidified. Are you trying to tell me they're still moving about? They're still breathing? Oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Oh my gosh. And your angels are like, oh, they're protected. Oh my gosh. Did they receive their blessing? Oh my God, did they receive something that's going to get them out of the situation we created for them? Uh, yeah. The source stepped in. It's a whole institution about to go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because because of how committed they were to destroying someone. It's a whole institution, and this is called balancing. <laughs> Balancing a situation. Balance. They say, what? She's still alive? Why is she still alive and still moving forward? Why is she still hopeful? We destroy all of her uh, possibilities. Why are they still hopeful? Why are they still so victorious and moving forward? You will never know. And whoever this King of Cups is that's stuck with you all and not choosing not to see things from a higher perspective sir if you don't separate from these people in 0.5 seconds you're going to be just like them you're all trapped with these people feeling confined yeah whatever's supposed to be happening is happening now this king of cup i mean king of pentacles here mm -hmm. what does this freaking say Negligence, mistakes, setbacks, missed the best time, disappointment, liking cooperation, hyper competitive. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Not going in your favor. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Not only are you greedy, but you're negligent as well. You're crazy, not business savvy. Someone thought compromising you was going to lead to some type of Enterprise for him. He was going to be abundant. Someone here is so vain. 
don't get me wrong this man is showing up as someone very ambitious but the type of ambition this man has is dangerous it is dangerous because he will do any and everything to be successful this man he's dangerous this is not someone you want to partner up with he has no protection. He has no connection to source. Everything he's doing now, there's a being, there's an angel stepping in to interfere because someone here fell from grace a whole long time ago before you even met them, got into their energy. You were their last leg with the universe. You were their last leg. And when they saw you, they said, oh, yes. They saw you as their meal ticket. I can use this one. And Sora said, oh, okay. Well, you know, we were putting this person in your energy as your last leg. And if you do right by them, you'll recover all that you've lost due to your wicked and greedy ways. But since you want to stay on this role, let's see how this plays out, okay? Okay. <laughs> he took action, impulsive action. And now he's losing everything. He had dreams of being successful, being a business mogul. Baby, he missed something. He missed something. Now he's living in fear. He doesn't know what's about to happen to him. Honey, we can't tell you that because we, we're being told to shut our mouths. It's a surprise. Just like you surprised that person that gave you a genuine friendship was very sincere with you and you betray them for money that's the scene where spirit is about to surprise you there's an angel that's about to be playing russian roulette with someone's stability their business their bank accounts it's like you'll wake up every day and you're losing money and you don't even know where the money is going he said i just had a hundred thousand yesterday in my account now this 75,000. <gasps> There's 50,000. I thought I was secure. You were never secure. There's a king of pentacles. He keeps showing up in my readings thinking that he was secure in something. He said, I don't care what we do to this heifer. I'm going to be good. He didn't care what happened to you. As long as he was good, that was it. As long as he was good, that was it. And Sora said, oh, you're not good. You're mistaken. You were being tested. You were being tested. I'm telling you, you're not good. Sir, you're not good. There's smoke on the mountain. Where there's smoke, there is fire. The fire is blazing at this point. I've been saying that. I've been making that statement for a while now. And there's people watching me and they don't realize I've been warning them. I've been warning them. You went and worked with people to trap someone in something that had nothing to do with you or them. Someone came and lied to you, offer you a little bit of pocket change, and you, you <laughs> yes, you worked with the wrong person. Someone offered you a little bit of pocket change, and you decided, oh, I want more. And they said, all you got to do is keep doing this. Keep this person stuck and we'll give you more. And you agreed. And look what your life has become. See you, see your life. Eh? A high priestess was paid. She's, honey, she's going through her ending as well. Someone operates from their darker energy. She's not balanced. She's deceitful. Someone manipulates power, energy to her to her benefit. All she cares about is money. It's money. They say, hey, we have this for you, this opportunity for you. This is the opportunity that was meant to go to a high priestess, empress energy in the upright. This woman, Lord, huh? The, all of these people, darling, are going through something they can't even explain to you. It's supernatural at this point. And if some of them, they feel like if they open their mouths to say something, they're going to look dumb. People may say they need to go into some type of psych ward, and they don't want to be seen in that light. But there are people in here having some type of supernatural natural experience as far as karma. 
they can't talk about it. And your ancestors are holding everybody accountable. They are holding everybody accountable. If you had a higher level soulmate in here, honey, he don't trap himself with these people as well. He has trapped himself with these people. And your angels are all over it. They say, hey, we, we told you not to partake in this. You were warned before all of this started. When you were in that person's energy, that empress or uh, starseed's energy, they warn you. You were warned to be vigilant. Pay attention. They pointed out everyone to you that you should not be mingling with or you need to be careful with. And what did those people do? They told you, oh, that high priestess, that empress energy, starseed, is uh, dramatic. She causes drama everywhere she goes. She brings problems. She's not a team uh, teammate. She doesn't work together well with everyone as a teammate. She causes division. Blah, 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 blah. And the whole time they were telling you that, there was an angel on your shoulder in your midst telling you, don't listen to them. You need to commit to this person, whether in work or whatever you were trying to do. Business offer. Commit to that Starcy. And lo and behold, your higher level soul, miss, soul twin, whatever you all want to call them, they went astray. They said, I will go over here with those 600 people. Delusion of Starcy. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, someone is finding out. He's finding out that he trapped himself with these people. I'm telling you, there's no love. Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Lord, someone is looking for healing. They can't find it. Someone is looking for genuine connections. They can't find it. These people are having a hard time recovering. Let's see, honey. <laughs> you have a high priestess that's trapped in something. This is not a healer. This is someone that has lost her gifts, lost everything. Any connection she had with Source is not there anymore. That's why we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. But she's still hopeful that she can do something. She can do you something. Honey, you've lost your abilities for a reason. You abused it. The powers you had was not given to you for money, for riches. Someone in here does not know which way to go. She's so reliant on magic for everything. Coming to plus two math, she's having a hard time solving now. Two plus two, not knowing what the F it is. B. <laughs> She's still hopeful that she's going to come out on top. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. Yeah, that's not. That's not how it works. You're done. You're hopeful that you can bring endings to someone, but that's what you're going through. Literally, just you even losing your abilities and gifts, that's your ending. Because now you're just a regular person. No foresight. Listen, look at this. You lost foresight. You're trapped in your mind. You are stuck in some type of paradigm of doing things. You're stuck in the old way of doing magic. You're very deceitful. <laughs> Having a hard time healing, connecting to source. Uh huh. And you're still stepping out on faith. You say, I can still do it. The cards don't look right to you anymore. <laughs> the energy is just off. You don't even remember what it's like being a high priestess and you just lost your gift, what, a week ago or two weeks ago? Oh, went to Africa a week ago. A week ago. Kill a lion and I kill a good. Kill a good. 
someone lost their abilities but uh honey poor little ting ting is still trying to be hopeful still trying to bring in things to people and there's a king of wands out here baby hi kids hi kids mercy 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 there's no mercy for the wicked <laughs> i mean <too. laughs> You know, someone used to sit behind the scenes laughing. They're not laughing anymore. And if they're watching me, they're going to be pissed off about me laughing. So like, what the F are you laughing at, B? <laughs> My name is Cynthia, not B. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Source, we love you. Your sense of humor. Mm. Mm -hmm. What? Listen. <laughs> The king of wands there he thinks listen these people they don't have foresight of nothing i don't know how long these people have been practicing magic dark work going to this high priestess this dumb have foresight of nothing they're blind as bats okay even bats are blind they have that echolocation whatever they call it right these people don't have that all of their senses are shut down this king of wands here is going through some type of ending himself. This could be someone you had some type of contract with and he didn't want to partner up with you. Now he's going through an ending and he thinks coming into your energy, right, is going to help him heal. You're not doing that, sir. You're not healing. No, nope, 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 nope. Not the king of wands, not the king of swords. You all have karma to pay. You all have karma to pay. These people, I'm telling you, you all have karma to pay. These people are having a hard time healing, recovering, moving on to karma waters and things like that. It's not happening that way. Everyone is held accountable. I've been laughing a lot in here. Everyone is held accountable for their actions. This is part of the classroom. Yeah, everyone is held accountable. The classroom is in session. In session 24-7. Even when we're asleep, class is in session on earth. Because what happens? We go to the spirit realm. There's a whole nother class going on there too. I'm telling you, we go to the spirit realm. So all these rituals and stuff you all have been participating in, it's been a routine to come after the same energy. It's been a ritual one person just taking blows from everybody and you all didn't see any problems with that you had some type of lunatic that told you hey if you sap in their energy you'll get this they're they're a light being they're an angel so if you get a little bit of energy from them it'll lead to abundance for you they didn't tell you the fine print you didn't read the fine print like bobby didn't read the fine print how you go about doing stuff your intentions were not pure. You were stealing. That's why you all are going through what you're going through. And hold on tight, folks. Put on your seatbelt. Strap in your seatbelts because it's about to be a bumpy ride. There's smoke on the mountain. And where there is smoke, there is fire. The fire is now blazing. I've been telling you all this for I don't know when, since January. Okay? Okay. I know who's watching. I know who all you're sending to watch. Who all was sent to watch. I know. And I've been warning you all the whole time. But you all are so karmic, damaged, bruised, broken, unhealed, insecure, immature. That you think when you do something today and you don't get consequences today, you're in declared. That's not how it works. It's, think of karma like a piggy bank. A savings account. Okay? Every time you do something, you put a little bit in there. Every time you do something, you put a little bit in there. You put a little bit in there. It keeps piling up and piling up and piling up, right? And yeah, one day. <laughs> oh. Okay. That kind of picky bing is not the kind of picky bing you all want. But that's what you all sign up for. I'm telling you. 
That's what you sign up for. Making the wrong decisions. Making the wrong decisions in life, in love, in health, in wealth, in business, collaboration. You made the wrong decision. People have been interfering with some type of relationship coming together. Two people coming together. Family members. I don't know if there's a mother-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, ex-wife, whoever. Someone has been interfering. Group of people interfering with two people coming together. They said, uh-uh. We need to let him know she's worthless. We need to let her know he's worthless. They don't need to be together. She's going to hold him back. He's going to hold him back. I'm telling you, this is a whole relationship. An abundant relationship, by the way. And it's out here in the reverse because people have been interfering with it from behind the scenes. Okay? People have been interfering from behind the scenes. These cards are almost done. So I think today I am going to finish this deck. This car was about to come out. I'm telling you, this is about a relationship. They don't want these two people to come together, but guess what? It's still happening. Look, look at that. It's still happening. Still happening. Okay? Still happening. <laughs> still happening. It's still happening. These people are going to get married. They're going to connect, get married, invest in each other, genuine friendship. Thank you. Protective of each other. Still happening. And it's a union that's protected by source, ancestors, the spirit realm. It's something that is destined to be. So whatever these people have been doing, interfering with this marriage, this union, not working, still coming together. It's destined to be. Like, look at how it came out. Abundant relationship. They're going to get married. So twin manifesting a new reality. Commitment. Right? Institutional. Marriage is an institution. Right? These two will be collaborating together. Investing into each other. Equal give and take partnership. They bring the inner child within each other out. Genuine friendship. No ulterior motive. And these are two people with high morals. They're solid as a rock. This is going to be a relationship people envy. They envy it now before it's even together. They envy these people now before they're even together. Can you imagine what they'll be doing when these two people come together? Huh? Do we listen? Birth of a child. I'm telling you, listen, listen, listen. Uh-huh. And this is the institution still fighting amongst themselves. This relationship is going to lead to healing for both parties. These two are going to relocate once they get together. Okay? The man in this relationship could be someone wealthy. This is why they don't want you two together. I should have just stopped. Yeah, it's protected. I'm telling you. Listen. New beginnings. Vigilance. New beginning. Protection. Oh my gosh. These people are living in fear. Because this new beginning is ensured. Balance is being brought into the situation. The wheel of fortune is still moving in the right direction. Good karma for you too. I'm telling you. Strength. Victory. I'm telling you. Like, do I even need to keep going? I'm going to keep going for the fun of it. I'm going to keep going for the fun of it. It's not going to change. I'm telling you, security. Uh-huh. And these people are burdened by that. Look at that. It ends with the justice card. They're burdened because things are still going in the right direction. Things are still being balanced out. Look at how everything came out. I literally used all of the deck. And everything is still some up to. The two are still coming together. Justice. 
So literally these people did all of this for nothing. Never have I ever used a whole deck while I'm doing tarot. Never. This institution is fighting with themselves about a star seed. Moving on. You get to move on. He gets to move on. You two are sick of these people. And the and the, the source spirit, the higher beings are sick of them too. The only reason they're trying to keep you two apart is because of money. Money. That's all. That's all it is. It's money. It's all money. You, you overcame your enemies because of your character. You stay calm and vigilant. You didn't pick fights with anyone. You acted like you didn't know what was going on. That's how you were told to be. And it led to your victory. Imagine people coming at, at you with source. And instead of you being bashful, getting angry and stuff, you just kind of stand there and watch them with disappointment. And they're coming at you just a rah, you know that when when uh, uh, armies are in battle, you have one army here, one army here. The only thing is there was a whole army here, and it was just you. Imagine that there was a whole troop here, and it was just you, and they're all coming at you with their swords, guns, and everything because they say you're dangerous. They've lied. They said, this person is dangerous. We have to out them. We have to off their light. And they are rightly, right up, coming after you. They rally up the troops. Excuse me. And they are ambitious, motivated, and they are determined to come and destroy you. You're dangerous, remember? It's 100,000 people here. It's just you. Just you. You don't have no weapons. Nothing. You're not cursing at these people. You're not showing anger. Nothing. You're just standing there as calm as can be. Initially, when this war started, you didn't even know anything about it. You were just minding your life, going blasé, blasé, watering gardens and flowers and stuff. Busy focusing on healing. And the whole troop was coming at you from a whole distance. You looked around, you said, well, I don't see any troops. Maybe when they get to a specific point, they'll see that there's nobody out here but me. You didn't know they were coming after you. You were poor little ting ting before. <laughs> you were poor little ting ting before. You didn't know they were coming after you. And you're looking around like, why, why is there a whole army out here? Running with swords and guns and stuff, arrows. They said they were taking everything. They needed everything they could get for you. And here's it. There's no troops out here. Just them. What, where are they going? And as time went by, they got closer and closer. You started seeing familiar faces in there. You saw sister, your mother, your father, your brother, aunties, uncles. And you said, did I miss something? Did the time ha town have a meeting? Are we practicing or something? Like no one told me we were practicing comeback. No, they were coming for you. And they were determined. They said, oh, we're going to win. And they kept coming, and they kept coming closer and closer, and you started getting nervous. And you're like, why the heck are they still going? By now, they should see there's no troops out here. And they got close enough and started shooting, and you're like, oh, they're coming for me. And your angels told you, stay put, don't move. You said, what? Uh, uh I gotta move. No, stay put. We're about to show them who has the true power. So you stay put, and they kept shooting. They were shooting guns, arrows, spears, all kinds of stuff, and none of it touched you. They all landed around you, far and near at your feet, Ooh, passing past your, e going past your ears, and everything. But not one single thing, thing pierced you. 
And when they got close enough and they noticed you were still standing after all the bullets they had shot towards you and the arrows they had shot towards you, they stopped and said, hold on, something ain't right. Something is not right. It's a hundred thousand of us. We've been shooting at this person for maybe 10 minutes now and they're still standing. Nothing has touched and that's not normal. No, 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 no. So they started asking questions. Say, you know what? I think we need to regroup. Let's go back to the drawing board. Something is not right here. They have to walk away. The people that were trying to end you fear you now. They fear you. Some of them may even want to partner up with you now because they know what they tried to do to you. They know what they tried to do to you. And it did not come into fruition. They said, we tried to destroy you. You shouldn't be here today. But lo and behold, there you are, still watering your flower in your gardens. <laughs> But they get out here by the way. You need to put some clothes on, Starcy. Put some clothes on. <laughs> You're a modest character. Put some clothes on, you naughty creature. Put some clothes on. But you have people in here that may want to work with you now because they've witnessed what Source does for those that truly believe in God. They don't understand how you're still here, why you didn't give up, why you didn't lose your faith. They will find out eventually because you know what? Every single one of us have to go through this at some point. They may not be going through it this lifetime, but after they're done working all of their karma off, there will be a lifetime where they too will go through the same experience where they will have a 100,000 people throwing arrows and gunshots and things like that at them and it won't touch them and the hundred thousand people will be wondering how the heck did that happen this is your moment star see this is your moment you've worked your way up to this so your story is your testimony and they're going to use it as a testimony too as a lesson not everyone you see no matter how weak, feeble, and irrelevant they look, it's meant to be played with. Certain people, just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. If they don't pick a fight with you, don't pick a fight with them. Okay? You're a lesson for people in this group. You're a lesson. Hey, this is going to come out. I'm going to read it. That 44 keeps coming out. That 44 keeps coming out. Your angels want you to remember you are protected. You are protected. No plans of your enemies will ever come up against you. Your enemies will never have victory over you. Okay? We have five. Flexibility is your fort. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change be brave and bold in your endeavors i am adaptable absolutely 14 you are open-minded and always up to try something new yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into something this pragmatic approach helps ensure your time attention and efforts are meaningful I am practical. Please do be practical, collective. 44, protection, and then 8 has to do with abundance, blessings, infinite blessings from the universe. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even, creator, and even greater success will come in the future. I, I want to read that over again. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. You're then skippy. You are. You are never alone. 
We live on a planet with 9 billion people. And then you have the spirit realm of endless souls, right? That are just watching. There are more souls waiting to incarnate than there are bodies available on earth. Let me put it that way so you can understand. There are more souls in the spirit realm waiting to incarnate than there are bodies available. Okay? So that should let you know you're never alone. Even if you seem alone in the flesh. Like this star see here. You see how alone she is? But what do you see around her? Stars. Sentient beings. That's what those are. Sentient beings. And then she's on the earth. The earth is a living being as well. That's another sentient being. So she's not alone. She's protected. She's supported. That's a healer. So she's automatically supported. You're never alone. Don't make don't let anyone tell you you're ever alone. When people reject you, that's your protection. Someone like me, you rejected me, honey. I'm doing everything in my head. I'm doing literally everything. I'm rejoicing in my mind. Something is preventing me from clapping. Like it takes everything in me to not clap when someone rejects me. That's how I'm built. It takes everything in me to not clap. Let's take dating, for example. If a man say he doesn't like me, whether because I'm this or my mouth, my mind, I think for myself, whether it's because I believe in spirituality, honey, in my mind, I am who? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because, honey, you are saving me a heartache. Second of all, who told you you were my type? <laughs> That's why I said my mouth. Who told you you were my type? So when people reject you, see it as a blessing, as protection, because you don't know what demons people are dealing with. Stop looking for acceptance from outside energies. Most of these people you're looking for acceptance for don't even accept themselves for who they are. Don't even know themselves. There are people in this world that are bothered by the energy of love. And these are the people that will reject you and you are dumb enough to be sitting in your house crying. Oh, he doesn't want to date me. He chose the karmic over me. Girl, if you don't shut your pie hole, what's wrong with you? That person is doing you a favor. You want to go jump into a karmic cycle with a nutcase? You had better stop it. Rejection 9 out of 10 times? Nah, 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 that math ain't mathing. 10 out of 10 times is for your protection. It is for your protection. I don't care what it is. A job position, love, friendship, opportunities, house, whatever it is. If it's a no, it's for your protection. That's the universe telling you that's not for you. We have better for you. You're not meant to be around these people. They don't resonate on your frequency. They're below your frequency. And you interacting with them for too long is going to lower your frequency because you may start indulging in the same activities they're indulging in. You got to learn how to fix your mind before you can get out here because you need to be built to accept no, I remember I had an ex, the last person I dated. This man, I never could really hold a good conversation with this man. I don't have anything against this man. I wish him the best. I hope he has the life and day that he deserves. Okay? <laughs> I hope he... I hope this brother has the life and day that he deserves. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. But I remember we had one conversation uh, uh, sometime. I think it was like 2021, 2020, or 2022, whatever that was. And he told, told me, he said something to me that made me think twice about myself, but in a good way. He said, I don't know how you can tolerate no. I'm not able to put up with people telling me no. I don't know how to accept rejections. 
At that moment, I realized, oh, I never looked at it that way. Because at that moment in my life, when he said that, I literally started reflecting over all of the times that I had been told no. I have been told no more times in my life than I've been told yes. And even though I've been told no more, more, more in my life, it's never stopped me from moving on to the next opportunity. You can tell me no today. Tomorrow, you'll see me at another building looking for work. That's how I'm built. You're not going to tell me no, and then I go home and cry about it. Uh-uh. It ain't no crying about it. I'm built to figure it out. If this don't work, something got to work. It's just not this. So we're going to move on to B. Honey, when we make it through the alphabets, the 26 letters of the alphabet, and nothing comes through let's start with the numbers that's how i'm built so you got to learn how to accept rejection see it as a blessing see it as a blessing because that's what it is it's protection it is protection I know the world has its set up where we are supposed to be feeling that we've got to be part of this. we got to be part of that. we got to have this. we got to have that. That's the world dismantling you little by little. You go from being self-reliant, being self-assured, to needing other people's approval. You don't need anyone's approval. Because the people you're looking for approval from, they don't even... They don't even know how to validate themselves. They need the rest of the world to validate them. Look at the celebrities. Those people are stuck on fame. They're addicted to fame. This is why they'll do anything for money. They'll do anything to get a little bit of attention. Look at the Kardashians, how they stage everything. That's an addiction to fame. You have to have self-worth, okay? I don't care what you've done in life, what you haven't done in life. Everybody deserves to have self-worth. Live a fulfilling life. Quality life. Have your own identity. Self-identity is imperative. You are on a solo journey. I know on a cosmic level, we all are one. Okay? But right now, honey, we are on this solo journey. I'm here. You're there. And your self-identity is important. It plays a role into why you are incarnating. It plays a role. That whole mindset about being part of a group, doing what the group wants you to do, going along with the group, that's karma. <laughs> People don't realize this. This here is karma. And you see they're even fighting amongst themselves. It's karma. They can't work together. They're having a hard time working together. That's what happens in groups. Some people karma is having to learn how to go, uh, go let go of group thinking, needing validation from other people, feeling the need to be part of something. That's karma. Some people have to learn how to overcome. But when they see people like me that don't give two shits, excuse my French. I don't speak it often, but I'm speaking it today. When they see people like me that don't give two shits, it's a problem. Oh, she thinks she's better than us. Oh, she, she thinks she's this. She thinks she's that. No, I just don't roll that way. I don't care what you have going on. I don't think I'm better than you. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I just do things and move to my own rhythm. Group-like mentality does not work for me. So I'm not going to force myself to make it work. I've rejected quotes before they even approached me. People with quote like mentality, coving like mentality. I've rejected them before they even approached me. I shared one with an office mate. I shared an office with one of them, excuse me. I don't play that stuff. That's not what I'm made for. This is me. That's all I am. I don't want nothing else. I don't care. I don't care how much money you have, your prestige, whatever. This is me. That's all I care to be. 
This is why they're fighting. This person, whoever they were going after, this is the energy they're in. Trying to bring problems to this person. And she's moving on. He's moving on. Because this is a self-minded person. You have to have a mind of your own. Because once you become part of her group, you lose your identity. Now you have to worry about offending the group, not moving with the group. You're not supposed to move with the group. Leave the group behind. I beg. I beg, my brothers and sisters. Find your own voice. Separate yourself from group like thinking. You're dealing with karma. I'm not saying go out here and be a B-I-T-C-H to everybody. What I'm saying is have a mind of your own, but be respectful and tactful about how you are about it. You don't have to be loud with anyone. Just, no, that's not for me. And if they try to bring it up to you again, tell them I already told you what it is. I don't need to explain myself to you. And if they keep trying to approach you about it, disappear. Leave them standing there. Be loud and clear about your boundaries. And I'm saying this because this is something I had to learn. If you're not clear with your boundaries, people feel like they can infiltrate into your energy and get away with anything. Have boundaries and stick to them. I can tell you a whole lot of my boundaries I have. I don't do... I don't do menage twice. I don't do cheaters. You're not cursing at me if I'm in a relationship with you. I had an ex that did that before. Listen, I used to date like bad boys. And I bet you, I can guarantee you, one of them cursed at me one time. I stopped speaking to him for three weeks. He never cursed at me again. Boundaries. You're not going to call me a bee. That's not my name. You're not going to go sleep around and come back home to me. That's not my thing. You're going to, you want to be out there? Listen, let me help you stay out there. Boundaries. And people that are not healed don't understand that when you have boundaries, they think, oh, she thinks she's better than us. No, I'm telling you what works for me. You said being loose works for you, right? I'm not judging you. That works for you. Fine. You want to give your pipe pack and ding dong to everybody? By all means, go ahead and do that. It works for you. That doesn't work for me. So the fact that you're offended because I say that doesn't work for me means that you know something is wrong with what you're doing. You feel insecure about what you're doing, not me. Right? Okay, let's read our last card. 27, 9. Completion. Again, something is done. This has been the running theme. For the past, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight readings, something is done. But you have people behind the scenes still trying to drag it out. And the longer they drag it out, the more problems is coming for them. This is because of group thinking. They dug a hole for themselves. Your enemies dug a grave for themselves, not knowing they were digging a grave for themselves, assuming they were digging it for you. This is your energy. Can nobody dig no grave for you? You are connected with everything. Everything in the now, everything in the past, and everything in the future. In creation, there's no past or future. Everything is now. So you're connected with everything. There is no grace for you. Your mind is wide open. And you are tolerant and compassionate to world all, who, all ways of life. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. I am expressive. And expressive expression has to do with you having your individual identity established, developed. So that no one can come in and tell you, hey, we don't do that around here. And then you just shut down. No, 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 no. And something I've realized people are mistaken about me is because I'm soft-spoken. Like in real life, when you all meet me, I'm soft-spoken. Soft-spoken. I'm not here to yell at you. 
Like I carry myself in this energy and people, people think I'm naive and I'll let you, you know, get on with certain things, get by with certain things. I'm not going to force with you too much. My thing is to always just let you be. I'll let you be. I'm not going to force with you. But when I get to the point where I feel like I need to say something because I feel like you're old enough to know better not to do something you're doing because a lot of the times people will do things just to get a reaction out of you and that's why a lot of the time I just shut my mouth and act like I don't know what's going on but if you push it to the point where I have to say something to you your thing is a whole different person in the building I'm not I'm not yelling at you I'm not cursing at you I will talk over you because you need to hear what I have to say you've talked long enough that's how I see it you said enough so it's my time to talk. And then when you start blabbering, blah, 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 I, I was, you know, I'll calm down and I'll let you finish. And I will reiterate what I was trying to tell you in the beginning. Nah, honey, we're not playing that around here. Because I'm respectful like that, people think, oh, she's not about that life. No, I'm not about that life. But if you push me, I can be about it. I can be about it, but that's not my first option. And that's the mistake. People that are not diplomatic, people that are not tactful, don't have any self-respect for themselves, they will always misjudge this kind of character to be weak, feeble, easy to bully. And then they F around and find out. I will see you all in my next read. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.